In the late 19th century, a groundbreaking system was developed to catalog criminals like never before. Imagine a time when identifying repeat offenders was a challenge for law enforcement. But one man changed the game. Meet Alphonse Bertillon, a Paris police official who revolutionized criminal identification with his innovative system. Bertillon's system, known as Bertillonage, involved recording precise physical measurements of criminals. He believed that these measurements, combined with photographs and additional details, would create a unique and retrievable criminal record. The system included measurements of the head, body, and limbs, as well as personal features like eye color and scars. To ensure accuracy, Bertillon standardized lighting conditions, exposure time, and pose for the photographs. He even created an identification chart of facial features for easy comparison and contrast. Although the system had its flaws and was primarily designed for adult men, it led to a significant increase in arrests of multiple offenders. Police departments around the world, including New York City, Argentina, and Chicago, adopted the Bertillonage system. But it wasn't just about identification. Bertillon also developed other forensic techniques, such as preserving footprints and determining the force used in breaking and entering. Photography played a crucial role in the system, helping to identify and document clues and individuals. Forensic photography, although not widely accepted in court at the time, was used to discredit forged documents and record crime scenes. The creation of large information archives strengthened government control and brought the dream of a vast collection of images to life. However, as technology advanced, Bertillonage was eventually replaced by fingerprint identification. Ironically, this change led to an increased demand for specialized police photographers to capture fingerprints and handprints at crime scenes.